Hey, what's up people? Orfish here, and it's time for a third episode of this playthrough. Last time, let's see this map. Where was it? Yeah, here. Last time we visited uh, this Delta Station, the primary Altera base. Also, I found a severed bridge connecting uh, the shore with the mainland, apparently. And uh, there were some clues about some monster frozen somewhere. Also, a some underwater derelict alien spaceship. And mostly, I've navigated my way around here. Now it's time to build this base to a full-blown installation, but before that I need, apparently, more resources as I've compressed all this, all this titanium into ingots. So, I'm gonna... I'm gonna dive deeper into this reef here and start gathering more titanium, copper and everything else we would need to construct some more multi-purpose room as well as some living quarters and such only the modification station too because this goes way deeper than I thought and I need a depth model for my sea truck let's see if I even have that yeah I should have that uh, blueprint um, yeah here it is so I need a lithium apparently I haven't yet found found it so that's the first next thing that I need to search for because I need reinforcements for my base too it's barely holding. Yeah, it still requires lithium. So, the lithium is the next big thing that I will need. Warning, passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Okay, so here we have the silver. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. This thing looks dangerous. I'm not gonna get too close. Yeah, I'm not gonna get too close. But apparently the same evasion, evasive maneuvers work here as they do in Subnautica. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. What's this? Nothing special. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. And still no lithium. I don't know if I can even find it here. Oh, there's some. Altera stuff here. Let's see. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen Rebreather. remaining. Okay, that is exactly what I need. I'm gonna craft that. Then I'll get back here. And I've just remembered that I haven't placed a beacon. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I literally have no idea where my base is at this point. So I'm gonna look for that. Okay, I, I'll look for my sea truck. Wow, I've traveled a lot. You easily get lost in Subnautica. Warning. 
I mean, you easily lose the sense of orientation, the sense of direction, the sense of space. Seek fluid intake. So this is my... Um... Primary land feature that I'm looking for, but I'm looking for my base. Let's see. Welcome aboard, Captain. What do we need for the rebreather? Fiber mesh. I think I have. I have everything. Cool. Oh no, I don't have the wiring kit. No, I need one more, one more silver. Well, that's unfortunate. So it's one more silver, but first I'm gonna need to drink some water. And I just happen to have some here. Vital signs stabilizing. And I'm gonna grab more bladder fish. Nice if I could craft the water filtering machine. I'm not sure if I picked that blueprint up somewhere. Maybe. Oh, this thing has no power. battery here. Now I can craft some water. But this water is pretty much inefficient. And these batteries are so inefficient. God, I got used to having everything in Subnautica. But never mind, this is fun too. So let's reorganize this inventory. I like having this at number five, this at number four. Okay. Now I can look for more. Silver, let's see. Chance of lead, chance of copper, chance of silver. Argentite. Okay, we've picked up some. Deeper. Oh, there it is. Warning. Passing 100 meters. And I got Oxygen clapped. efficiency decreased.
There it is. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. At least this time I haven't traveled much. Oxygen. So it's a wiring kit, right? Now the fiber mesh and the silicon rubber. The rebreather facilitates extensive free diving by recycling air more efficiently at significant depths. Breathe the freedom. I will, I will, for sure. Now I can look for lithium, although I still have no... Let's see what I need for modification station. No, I still need the lithium for... for the sea truck upgrade. Oh wow, I have much more oxygen supply now. We're gonna need these very soon. Quartz too. Some computer chips. I was here before, but I haven't actually went inside of this. Okay, filtered water. That's cool too. If I remember correctly, I scanned the window here. And I picked up a... What's it called? The high capacity O2 tank was much welcoming addition to my arsenal here is one more PDA a sea truck log okay this goes some very important. It has to. Is that the thing? Is that the thing that scared the sea truck driver inside the trailer? Yeah, it is. Such a cool scene. He spilled his coffee all over his um. <clears throat> Okay, we have some. Wow, 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 wow. We have something familiar. Sea truck fabricator model fa fragment, of course. Storage model fragments. So, oh, those are the compartments that go onto your sea truck, I guess. So, the moment I went deeper than ever before, I found everything that I would need. So, main rule of Subnautica the further you go, and especially the deeper you go, the more th useful things you can obtain. Now apparently I don't have to worry about air here, these plants 
these plants give me just enough air to keep going and the rebreather keeps it from being wasted too soon. What's this? A diamond, that's new. I haven't scanned it. Hydrothermal vent. Ooh, I have picked up a diamond somewhere apparently. Now let's not drown. There is nothing new here. Just many, many diamonds. And now I'm completely stocked. Christ. This is the reach. Wow, wow. This was... This was a combo attack. First the plant, then this... This whale thing. No! Oxygen. I'm gonna drown, I'm gonna drown. Maybe I'll reach that plant. No! I failed. Hmm. And I lost everything there. I'll be lucky enough if I find the spot and pick everything up. Where was it? I think it was here. Yeah. I got too carried away. See, I can die. Especially when I get combat. Attack. At least I know I lost some belongings next to one of these plants. as well scan you now since you won't attack me for a while. Okay. We'll read about you later. But this place apparently is hostile and quite dangerous. This is not where I lost my belongings. Maybe I'll never find the place, but I might as well spend at least some time. Or maybe in this game they don't even stay at the place at which you died maybe they vanish forever mm -hmm. 
I'll spend a few more minutes trying to figure this out. If not, <clears throat> I'm gonna start collecting. new stuff We have two modules already. The storage module is complete. Yep. This would be a nice place for one of my observatories. And there's my inventory. I first lose this menace. figure that you don't like me but there are no more breeding plants here or whatever they are called the only one down there, that's why I drowned in the first place. I'm gonna restockpile my oxygen and get back down there once more to see if I have missed. the stuff that I lost back then. Creatures are much louder here, and you can kind of assume they are much closer to you than they are, than they actually are. Let's see. I picked up some things, but not all of them. I'm not even sure anymore where that was. And to make things worse. I still haven't found the lithium. And I have no idea if I'm ever gonna find it down here. Leave me be. Okay, so the way to escape from this thing is to go 
as far away as possible. I thought it was the leech mechanic where I need to cut it off from my hand, but apparently it's not the same thing. It just drags you back and back, and it hurts you as long as you're in its vicinity. And apparently it reaches quite quite far. Squid shark, okay. Let's call it a squid shark. I mean, it makes sense, yeah. It's a squid and it's a shark at the same time. This is where I lost my belongings the first time. There is nothing more else to be obtained, so I'm not gonna waste any more time, any more time down here. I'm just gonna pick whatever I can before I die of health loss this time. There's the lithium. Now I need more of it. Okay, so this wasn't a complete waste of time after all. But I might as well turn off my lights now. And I'm gonna drown again unless I find another oxygen source warning 30 seconds of oxygen remaining it's, it's, it's a great combo of creatures here one holds in place the other comes to eat you feel comfortable here at all which is probably a good thing inventory full I think I have enough lithium for at least one 
calorie intake. Or at least one steel ingot. Then I can come back down there with the sea truck. Where is my base? Where is my... yeah. Wow. Just wow. Drop the batteries. No. Oh no, they're, they're they're in the void at this point. Once you unload them and your inventory is full, I think they remain. Some limbo until you empty your inventory and they and then they spawn back. So We'll see if that's the case here. Anyways, I'm not gonna go down there without the sea truck, especially since now I have my storage module. But I'm not even sure how to craft it. That's the first next thing I need to find out. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yeah. Okay, so the batteries are back. diamonds I think let's let's complete this storage compartment two and I've picked up too many of these gel sacks I'm not sure why okay so let's see And now, what was it that I need for enamel glass? Oh, how do you make enamel glass here? Hmm. Oh, the diamond, the lead, I have everything. So it's not more, any more stalker teeth, teeth but but health food some vital health. signs stabilizing water we might as well waste one more health I mean the health kit kit or whatever it's it's its name so I can craft no, I can't. And I'm a uh, lead diamond glass. Oh, I don't have a glass. I need more quartz. Hopefully, I find it somewhere close. More titanium. There is one.
And the other I'm never gonna find apparently. Oh, there it is. But let's double down on that. There is no quartz. Oh, yes, there is. And now I'm gonna pick whatever I can on my way home. Come back here. Okay, so it's enamel glass times two. Beacons, one for takeaway and one for my home base. Okay. Now, how do you craft? truck modules okay fabricator no I don't even know how to craft them it's not here apparently it's not here I'm gonna need some new mechanic let's see if I can find some clues here inside the tech group sea truck is an advanced underwater vehicle with attachable modular, modular cabins for maximum ad adaptability in the field okay small cabin ratings additional modules Bespoke cargo modules can be attached to the rear of the main cabin, providing a range of powerful benefits. Available modules include fabricators, docking stations, habitation sections, and of course, plenty of storage. Additional cargo modules reduce the sea truck speed maneuverability. That's exactly what I was wondering about. Yeah. Additional modules can be jettisoned directly from the main cockpit controls to enable exploration of tight spaces or in case of an emergency emergency competing part oh, okay so this so this is some catchphrase contains uh, fabricator module contains well-mounted unique fabricator and a small amount of additional storage space the fabricator fabricator module allows operators to craft everything available in the standard fabricator 
while additionally offering the ability to construct sea truck modules. Yeah, that's exactly what I need. Failure to attach this model for trips lasting longer than 8 hours absolves the manufacturer of all fault in all incidents regarding caloric energy intake deficiency. <laughs> This module is powered by Sea Truck's main cabin. Okay, the storage module, the ultimate utility upgrade. I'm gonna need this very soon. It serves as a large mobile cache for cargo of various, various types with additional five lockers. Cool. Most commonly used by researchers collecting samples, prospectors aggregating mine deposits includes customizable labels for ease of organization but still I have no idea where and how to craft those let's install this first Apparently they attach here, but hmm. There is nothing from inside a cabin. Maybe it's a modification station, I don't know. I'm gonna need that anyways, so I might as well craft it now. Diamond, computer chip, titanium lead. Okay, I think I have everything, except for the gold. that gold I've also lost these plants This also, maybe not soon. So it's a brute shark, okay. This one is much easier to avoid than the squid shark. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Which makes sense considering how close it is to the surface.
think there is a gold somewhere in this area. Quartz. We'll need that. Now I can explore these caves more efficiently. Efficiently. And now you're offering me silver. No! these maybe I can plant them just like the blood root okay there is no gold here apparently Dead end. Can scan this spinnerfish. Okay. This hubfish. Is my gold. Okay, some more alien stuff here. So here they are called architects and not recursors. New technology acquired. Quantum locker, we'll see what that is, but not now. some more gold. Might as well turn the scanner on. Get away from me. Oh, there it is. Inventory is full. What's the thing that I at least need? Here. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Drop titanium only to obtain another one. How lucky. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay, I got some gold. I haven't been here, I think. Yeah, I have. Hail Storm. It 
It's a most weird blend of weather conditions that you can find anywhere, I think. Does this waste battery? Let's turn those lights off. Board, okay, so where was I? Some seeds. Let's craft another battery first. Computer chip. Kit, of course, but I was aiming for the modification station. Yeah, let's place it. I don't know. Here, so these are the upgrades. Oh, I can get, create thermal blade, but I could have used another battery. Nah, it's it is what it is now. I mean, I could have used half empty battery. one of these beacons here at the center of this base we'll call it I don't know the base thing I'm gonna do is build a an exterior grow bed and plant some of those battery that I need to power this habitat builder okay 
No, 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 no. Let's build some foundations. And the exterior grow bed. Three of them, three of them. Let's read about them for a moment. Fauna. Sea monkey, medium sized and intelligent herbivore, herbivore which shows great interest in other life forms and their possessions. More research is needed to understand this life form and its behavior. Two finger like appendages on each forearm are tripped with suction pods for basic object manipulation. Its large turquoise crest is made of rigid bone. Is possibly used as a ram, although this has not been observed. Sea monkey roam the ocean almost playfully, largely fearless of predators, seen to form a small nest with, where they herd objects or herd whatever is it, the pronunciation objects of interest of for unknown purposes. Investigate with caution. Okay. Nothing, they are cute. Is it purposefully? Was it purposefully obstructing my... The grow bed lets you grow plants and vegetables, providing flavorful options for evading scurvy. There. Let's see if I can plant that root also. This was it. Perhaps. Maybe not, but first I'm gonna get two more seeds for this battery thing is. Imagine spending the entirety of your life in some kind of cocoon, only to die a few moments once you leave it. Welcome to the world of the crash fish. Can't find a 
battery plants. There have to be... They have to be somewhere here in this shallow waters, yeah. Exactly. Apparently I picked up the wrong seed. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. No. Oxygen. You can't plan this. Welcome aboard, Captain. But I bet you can use it for something important later. Okay, some more glass. Might as well build some reinforcements. That one lithium piece, leave me alone. Let's build more foundations for sure. If you're familiar with this blueprint, this is the Degassi base blueprint that I've constructed a few days back for my Subnautica video. I found it to be quite functional. So... And it wasn't my intention to use it here. It just happened, so gonna have to live with it but I don't even have enough lead to construct more foundations or enough lithium to construct more reinforcements so I'm gonna I'm gonna drop that chase for now and apparently I need to find a way to craft more sea truck those sea truck modules I mean I don't have the moon pool or maybe I missed something let's see so there is no moon pool there is nothing here this I'm gonna need temporary place for that hmm let's see if we have some other functional oh the compass I forgot about it I now have the materials to build it so it's the wiring kit and a copper wire. This is one of the first things that I wanted to create, but I never did. Insulated storage a receptacle for beverages. Let's see how that works. I bet I'm gonna need that when I start traversing the land. now 
Hmm. Curious. Let's see if there is something about the thermos here. So it's a tech equipment, equipment, equipment. Nothing about the survival. I mean, nothing about death in a survival. Light stick, jukebox, okay, nothing there. Exterior grill, but no, fabricated for light, nah. Should be an equipment. Okay, we'll deal with that later. I wanted to read something more. There are a few logs that I picked back there. She's on a cracker. Saw me. Managed to eject the cargo modules and hide. Sitting here with the lights off, sweating through my shirt. I'm not going to get pooped out of the back end of a sea monster to save Altera some money. Manuel is not going to be happy. Not one bit. The damn ugly thing followed me into the shallows. Didn't think something that big would follow me up here. Had a jettison the sea truck. Again. <sighs> I guess I could try to go back for the parts when it leaves. If it leaves. I really don't want to sit in another meeting with Emmanuel, Manu, as he likes to be called. Ugh, I just want to drive around and deliver cargo in peace. So, the pieces of the sea truck that I scanned are probably that one that was destroyed, apparently by the squid shark. Zeta, I have kind of a funny question for you. Have you picked up any kind of unusual interference during any of your robotics work? You mean like Parvin looking over my shoulder and telling me I'm assembling my circuits wrong because it's not how his dad did it back in the day? <laughs> no. Like electrical interference in the audio or video. Any kind of flickering or clicking. Huh, can't say that I have. Why? Oh, so it doesn't extend as far as the bay. What doesn't? When Fred was bringing me for my eval, we detected something. Almost like an SOS. A Delta? How retro. What was causing it? I think architects are trying to communicate with us. You always think that. Look, it may be my job to always think that, but I'm very good at my job. Not that HR seems to care. I won't breathe a word of this to Emmanuel. Thanks. You're a good friend. So they apparently re received some signals that they think the aliens sent them. I should have guessed Altera would find a way to clip Sam's wings. Like I knew they'd do to mine once they took over Xenoworks. I tried to warn her. She was stubborn. Like me. Ever since I was a kid, I always wanted to be so different from her. Scrappier. Faster. Less... play by the rules. But Sam didn't tolerate Altera's corporate red tape any more than I did. She just... tried to change it from the inside. I think in the end, we always wanted similar things. Okay. Let's see, the array module. The nature of this alien construction is unknown. It has no clear indicators of its functions. The scan shows internal lights that emit at a different wavelengths. Theoretical purpose might be cosmetic communications array storage holographic display a light display for re relaxation purposes It's one of those things that I've scanned back there energy generator scans indicate that this array of alien hardware serves to accumulate quickly release mega joules of Energy and it's charged by ion cubes stored within these super capacitors may be used to smooth 
transient power events on the conduits connecting warriors to architect sites okay we know what the iron cube is i'm not gonna read about this outcrops okay we'll read more about flora and fauna later at this point i still don't know how to craft the sea truck stuff I'm gonna bring some more food and water and I'll dive back there in that squid shark cave. Oh yeah, I first first things first. I need a repair tool if I'm gonna drive a sea truck near those monsters. Crystalline sulfur. My god, I have a memory of a goldfish. Titanium. Silicon rubber. <clears throat> so this is a nice way, way to craft free battery. Apparently. I like to bind it on four. This will go on five for now. Let's see if these plants have grown. Yes, they have. So that's three batteries worth. drop those instead of planting them this bug is still present and do sea monkeys come out at night no I guess I'm safe oh no there they are Welcome aboard, Captain. So, more batteries. That is, if I have a copper. is completely out of batteries. I bet those will run out the most crucial moment once I get down there. track can can travel deeper and can pass through these Apparently it has a lot of health. And I'm gonna place a beacon here.
Um, let's call this Squid Shark Cave. I think this is akin to Jelly Shroom Cave from the base game. It has virtually the same purpose. Not sure should I drive this down there, but I might as well give it a try. Oh no, I can't. I can't, but at least I have... A safe haven. It's as far as oxygen is concerned. No! Another combo attack. I bet if there's anyone, anything... I wonder, I mean, if there's anything more down here to be had. It seems the... Track modules are just... repeating themselves in circles with nothing new secure and take have I brought some water no of course not as well obtain more lithium let's see if the scanner thing can find lithium it can but not here no more here I'll remain at this level I'm obviously safe from those sharks and that grabby thing is no more than that one shot. Fluid intake immediately. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. 
I got lost the first time. I can't even find my way around. Even with the sea truck beacons and the beacon around. But I don't have any water with me, so. Nah, the sea truck is completely useless here without additional death module upgrades. just noticed the water temperature here is far lower than anywhere back in Subnautica. Okay, at least we got enough lithium. Let's see about this depth module. module. Synthetic fibers, ruby, nah, I haven't found anything remotely close to that, so apparently I need to go somewhere at a lower depth, but away from this place. And that is exactly what I'm gonna do now, as long as I don't die of thirst. Where are my water bottles? Have I drank all of them? Yeah. Bladder fish. Keep fluid intake. Give me back my bad bladder fish. <laughs> I'm gonna die of thirst now. Maybe it's better. Let's go back to base and die of thirst. Welcome aboard, Captain. <laughs> See, this is the second death that I've experienced here. I'm always going to bring one of these from now on. And I'm always going to bring more water. First I need to craft more water. I guess I'll make peepers and bladderfish go extinct.
We'll see about that pilot last known position. I bet there's some more tech to be had there. There has to be. Okay, let's see if we can cure some papers. I think I saw some salt. down here. too much apparently This here is quite a good place to build a base on. That was my original intention, I think. But it's not too bad here either. This one for later. I'm gonna need a few now. Okay, so I'm bringing at least four of water. store away the rest Well, I really need to expand the base But let's see what's at that other Alien distress call origins, so we have two things that we can explore. Now let's see that alien distress call origin. First beacon with me but it's too late now two fish down directly 
directly beneath me, but I'm not sure how to enter down there. Explored. There has to be some other way to approach it. explored over and over might as well get some gold while I'm at it oh there is something the obelisk ultra capacity Okay, I'm staying here. I'm staying here for a while. More ion cubes. some cutting into some derelicts later I guess okay that's the exit I'm not ready to leave yet. I'm gonna 
occupy more of my inventory with titanium than I would need at this point. We're going in circles. Just don't want to miss anything here, but I only got one ultra high capacity tank fragment. And I bet there are more somewhere here. It's just that I can't find them. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. literally nothing more down here. I know where I am now. But I still don't know where that alien distress call came from. somewhere in this cave okay apparently there's gonna be a brown suit since we had this drilling deposits here that I have followed. Okay, 
I'm not going away from here until I figure out where was I supposed to go help me if I find my way out of this. It's an egg. I already have one of that kind. Alright. Satchi power critical. Familiar robots. Apparently, aliens can talk to me what in my is native all language. I can help you better if you show yourself. If we could show ourselves, we would not need storage. You mean you don't have a physical presence? Are you one of them? An architect? Storage medium identified. We will be lost unless we find a new host. Can you help? Can you use my PDA for storage? You are not with the group from before. Your cybernetic components bear their signal. Altera? <laughs> no, my equipment is, uh, borrowed. It will have to do. Okay, so apparently the aliens are very pragmatic beings. And straight to the point. Oh no, I came from this way. Time to drink some. what I wanted to investigate. It's a bridge of some... Yeah, it's a bridge. But it's broken and it leads to the only other exit from this chamber that there is to be found. Okay, so there is nothing special here. Let's just move forward. Thank you. Thank you once again. How long have you been stored here? Longer than that. Warning. Sack chain power. Critical. Our data can be downloaded from the terminal. We may speak more once the transfer is complete. Okay. Yes, okay. Hurry. Brace? What's happening? Chancellor. Chancellor. 
too pleased. How do you feel? Why do you sound like you're inside my head? The facility identified hospitable capacity within your cerebral cortex. You are in my head? I offered you my PDA! Get out! Oh, no. Does your kind perceive a boundary between cybernetic and organic components? My mind is not a component! You sound angry. We will allow you a moment to process. Don't you go silent on me. Hello? This is not happening. That's the explanation. It's not happening. Okay, now I have a parasite. Alien in the form of a parasite inside my head, but they are not organic, I think. It's a kind of energy-based life form. We'll read about... I mean, it's safe to read now about what has happened here. While advanced human civilization has attempted for centuries to develop successful whole brain emulation techniques, it appears that the architect race has built a platform for accomplishing this holy grail of life extension technology. Okay, so they are biological, but they have some way to transfer their consciousness into these machines. So apparently, physically, the containment cube appears to be comprised of a redundant array of quantum holographic storage layers supporting a hyperdense capacity of 35 bits per electron uh, too much technical stuff the energy field that feeds a suspended animated cube also serves to power the operating software allowing the intelligence the storage to maintain consciousness throughout the storage period once stored consciousness has been transferred out of the queue, the component parts will be inert without witnessing and carefully observing the backup process. It is difficult to ascertain how the transfer works and whether or not the process is truly lossless. Okay. Well, let's see if we have some now. Nothing more of that. So, from this point on, just an alien robot, I guess, nothing too special. So, we have a company inside our heads now. I mean, inside of her head. Let's see if we missed something around here. Nothing. So, this facility was losing power. And that alien was about to die unless it found some new host. We responded to that distress call. And now... It has used us as a host. Cool. How do I get out of here? It's always nice to follow these obelisks. missing pilot I'm gonna go back to my base as it is the answer okay. we understand this arrangement is undesirable to you you're not real go away to go we require a suitable body for transfer why do you keep saying we how many of you are there 
one of us and all of us. We do not think of ourselves as individual, distinct. Why don't you start by telling me who you are? You may append your seed code to my species designation. Please call me Al. My whole life I've been dying to meet a sapient, space-fearing alien up close, and you're telling me your name is Alan? Is it insufficient? No, it's fine. It's perfect. Where are you from, Alan? Your kind calls us architects. The precursor race. But what are you doing here? Matt. Is a long story. Perhaps you would prefer to focus on the construction of a new storage medium to which I may transfer. Yes. Fine, absolutely. How do we get you out of my head? I have added the information to your data bank. You will need to find the necessary components. Any idea where I can find them? It is unclear. I have been disconnected from my network for so long I cannot locate the coordinates. <sighs> okay, so. Robin is quite ready to cooperate. He's not freaking out too much. Welcome the alien the doesn't Captain. seem annoying. It seems quite friendly. And it also wants to find a new body. I'm gonna wrap this up for now. Take a break and we'll see you... I'll see you in my next episode, thank you all for watching, if you liked it hit that like button, stay tuned and subscribe, and see you in the next, next episode.